y'all, welcome back, Mandy with My Hectic Life Pets, where we talk about all things pet and pet related. And today I wanted to give you an update on my silkworms, and I am going to be upgrading them to a three gallon terrarium. Now, I did put some eco earth in there, which is not really necessary. They don't have to have a substrate, but I wanted the tank to look a little bit nicer and stay a little bit cleaner. So this is gonna be super quick and easy. I've got a bag of mulberry leaves here. I've already put in some substrate into my little terrarium, and this will be going back into my daughter's room. So I'm going to put in a whole bunch of mulberry leaves. I know this might look like a lot of mulberry leaves, but these guys have been doubling in size just about every day and they eat so much. They eat like freaking crazy. So I'm actually gonna move all the leaves over to this side. And I opened up their jar and they will slowly start to go, go for these leaves. Once they've all left the jar and gone over to the leaves, then I can remove the jar. Nice and easy, super easy. I'll try and get them started by putting a leaf like kinda partially in the jar. Yeah, these guys have gotten so much bigger, but I'm still, I don't wanna just like rip them out of this container because I'm afraid that I might accidentally hurt them, but yeah, they have been doubling in size just about every day and they are going through about this many leaves a day. That's a lot of leaves, that's a lot of mulberry leaves. So ideally, if you do an experiment like this with your kid or in the classroom, then you would want to have access to like a mulberry tree or again, you can buy silkworm chow online. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it just requires a little bit more preparation than throwing leaves into a container. Like they already, I think they can smell it. They can smell the mulberry leaves. And by the end of the day, they should all be out on this side, chowing down on the leaves, and then I can add, take this jar out and put leaves on that side, and they will have plenty of food for the day. Throw my lid on there. Easy peasy. So yeah, as for now, like these guys are doing really, really well. Um, we have lost a few. If you start out with 100 eggs, you're probably not gonna end up with 100 full-grown silkworms or 100 silk moths, but that's okay. You wanna try to grow and keep as many as possible, of course. Sometimes, you know, sometimes caterpillars don't hatch right or are not as sturdy as others or as good of eaters as others. But yeah, the silkworms are doing pretty well and probably in the next week or two, they will be cocooning up and turning into silk moths, which is gonna be exciting and very interesting and I can't wait. And neither can my daughter. So like I said, this is a really fun project. Um, my daughter's been really enjoying this project so far. Probably another day or two, I will allow her to be able to handle them. They are still a little bit small for handling, a little bit too, a little bit more delicate than I would like to let her, um, to let her be able to actually hold one and play with it. They, I mean, they, this happened really, really fast. Um, they, I mean, they only hatched, they only hatched a few weeks ago and they're already, getting huge really really fast like i said they have pretty much been doubling in size just about every day almost every day that my daughter and i have observed them they have grown about twice their size so they are really really growing fast and really really chowing down on those mulberry leaves like i am having to add a lot of mulberry leaves on a daily basis they are going through probably at this point um, I would say a good like three big handfuls of leaves every day. They are definitely big eaters, so if you do start this project, just know ahead of time, like you wanna make sure that you have plenty of mulberry leaves or that you have plenty of silkworm chow ready to go. Okay, so that's all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.